Hey everyone and welcome back to WoW Classic. We are going to go ahead and try out the Flames Casing today, which is an elite quest which involves the... We found these Twilight guys before. Uh, we explored over here and found them. Now we're going to try to take some of them on. We're going to be trying to do this in single pulls because it is just the two of us. So we need to be uh, exceptionally careful here to see if this is even going to have a chance of working. We only need one item, so... We might not have to kill too many of these guys to get it to drop. We're going to have to do a little bit of double duty here and make sure that we're doing our job as a healer as well as lending to some of the DPS. But yeah, they're going down pretty easy. The problem I'm seeing is when they hit, uh, they hit hard. Up the hill is a better drop rate, okay. We just took a random fireball to the face. No big deal. We're about to get this ad. That could be a big deal. I wish I could see how much longer he has forbearance on him. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and drink up to full mana. Might be a good idea. Really wish we could use the next level of water, but this is as good as it gets until level 50, so we're stuck with it for a while. It's not ideal with the large mana pool that we do have, but we don't have a lot of options. Yeah, this is the hill that we scouted out a while back. This one is level 50. We're not missing and they're not resisting our spells, so that's... Oh, there's a resist. They don't... The casters don't have a lot of health, though. We're going to have to be a little bit more careful, obviously.
I mean, of course. Of course you're going to go for the Thorium. I mean, I get it. Wasting that powered shield, though. All right, now we drink up. It seems like it could take us quite a while of killing these guys to get this item to drop, actually. It, we only need the one, but technically we need two. Because unlike in retail, if it drops off of one of them, we're not going to both be able to loot it. I'm really glad that he had to stay there and like cast that and that he didn't stop his cast even after we moved out of the area of effect. You'd think the enemy could be a little bit smarter and realize, oh they've moved out, I should stop casting this and go after them with another spell. Didn't happen, which was to our benefit. It would be really great if we had like one other person, maybe two, but definitely one other person, one other DPS to help power these guys down would be really useful right about now. I mean, we could probably put out more DPS if we tried, but then we're just going to be drinking between every pull instead of every other pull, which isn't going to be very helpful either. Yikes, I don't think we're going to be able to do a lot back here. Something tells me. Uh, walking backwards, although, you know, is something I do, is not the best way to kite a caster. I've done it. Oh, he's on me. Lovely.
Yeah, we're running out of loose enemies to fight here. I don't want to deal with this whole thing. This looks really intense over there. I, I don't know. Well, yeah, now what? I don't think we could get any of those guys. I just really don't think so. Alright, we're on the same page at least. Let's go back down the hill, <laughs> we'll, we'll focus on fighting them down there, and then these guys will eventually respawn, so if we need to come back up here, we'll be able to. But I, I think we need to go back down. I think he was trying to heal himself. He had himself targeted. So, uh, thank you Paladin for knowing how to interrupt or daze or whatever you did there to stop that guy from healing to full. Really appreciated. Especially from a class that doesn't have any interrupts. I really appreciate when others can interrupt uh, for us. Do we need to work our way into the caves? Uh, oh, we have a respawn, so probably not. Yeah, we don't want to get trapped in here. Let's let's deal with the respawns. And we'll watch our backs as well. Oh, we got shrunk for two minutes. Reduce strength and reduce stamina. Uh, it doesn't affect us too much as long as we're not getting hit. Oh, he got shrunk too. That definitely affects him a lot more than it affects us. Ouch. That's rough. Uh, let's get this one over here.
Woot! Hey, that's one. Oh wait, did he get it too? No. I was pretty sure we would we would need to each loot one. Oh nice. All right, uh, in that case, I guess we're out of here. I really didn't think any of the quests worked that way. Maybe because it was an elite quest it worked that way? I mean, we've quested, we've quested with people before when we needed items off of enemies and it didn't seem like we shared those items with them the way that you would in, in a retail situation. But hey, uh, I'm glad we were both able to loot that one item and we didn't need to farm for a second one. That's amazing. King's honor, friend. Without a suitable source of arcane energy, the Torch of Retribution cannot be completed. Well, here you go, buddy. The symbol radiates foul magic, perfectly suited for our task. Give me a moment to combine the necessary pieces. Uh, yeah, let's, let's start it. Someone's not reading the quest. Uh, we leveled. Ding, 48. Torch is almost complete. It is done. So one final task. Torch must now be bound to its owner. Pick up the torch. You grab the torch with both hands. Waves of hatred and anger pulse through your being. Greetings. Speak to my envoy. He will further instruct you as to the use of the torch. Go with honor, friend. Greetings. Listen well. While the four towers can never be destroyed, you can use the torch of retribution to set them ablaze for a very long period of time. Fire that no element or force can subdue. While they are ablaze, no guard or sentry can inhabit the watch post and thus their first line of defense is nullified. You must enter each tower and use the torch within their fortifications. Be careful. This is also elite. So maybe we should just continue on and keep working at this quest. So where are these towers that it's talking about? North, south, east, and west sentry towers. North, south, is it talking about the ones that we see on the map? Yeah, I have to assume that that's the case. So let's let's head out to the nearest one. We passed over that little bit of concrete and it dismounts us. Uh, we need to Yeah, let's angle this way. And if we're looking at the map, we should be coming... This should be one of the towers, right? It says we need to do it from within the fortification. So what item is it? Oh, hi there. Here it is. Let's pull it out to our bar so we can actually use it. Okay, there's an elite guy. We don't want this equipped, um... Yeah. Alright, let's focus up on this guy.
Maybe we have to be up here to use it. Our equipped staff and the staff for the quest look exactly the same, unfortunately. What are we trying to, like, target this? Maybe we have to go up higher? Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's the braziers we have to light. I mean, it said that in the quest, probably. Probably said it in the quest. Uh, let's jump down over here. And we will head down to the next one. And there we go. Uh, is this gonna be one of them? I am not sure. I guess it is, yeah. Oh, we don't have any buffs. We probably need to fix that. Let's worry about the buffs after this fight, though. Yeah, and then... I think we need to go around this way. Oh, hi! Sorry we kind of just dropped in on you there. Oh, you too, huh? Oh, we're out of mana. Perfect. That's just my guess anyway. I could be wrong, but so far it's been at or near the ones marked on the actual map. So we're going to We're going to try that and see how that turns out. And the run will give us time to regenerate some mana. Yeah, this has got to be it right here. Oh, shoot. This guy resisted Shadow Word uh, pain twice in a row.
We're gonna drink, assuming that there's gonna be another elite guy at the top of this staircase here. Or ramp, rather. It's not It's not a staircase at all, it's a ramp. They, they don't believe in stairs. The Black Iron Dwarves are an equal opportunity employer, so they want to make sure that this place is accessible by anybody, no matter their needs. Which, uh, you know, that's admirable of them, but we're still gonna have to kill them. Still gonna have to kill them. It's just what we do. Well, that was a misclick. There we go. And then the last one is going to be this way. I think across the bridge here, it looks like. Uh, let's get around these spiders if we can. Ooh, look, someone has already cleared some guys out for us. How thoughtful of them. The elite is still up, however. I guess I could have been unequipping and re-equipping this staff to get our stats back from our actual staff, but uh, that didn't happen. And it's been okay, uh, despite that. It's been easy to run up here and just click without having to worry about re-equipping the staff. There we go, let's equip our actual staff. And yeah, we're gonna get out of here. I guess we just go back the exact way we came. And we just run all the way around, all the way around the cauldron. I'm curious to see if this chains into anything else. It's been quite a slew of group quests they've thrown at us here. I've been really grateful to have the paladin, Rexen, here in our group with us today, helping us out with these quests. It would have been pretty sad to get to these and kind of hit a wall and not being able to pull people together. Although, there's a lot of people here uh, right now at 8.30 Eastern Time. It reminds me of how much Westfall is definitely an Alliance server, so... I'm gonna have to keep that in mind going forward that I should probably play on the Mankirk or Mankirk server if I want to play Horde. And then Westfall is for Alliance characters. That'll probably be more important going into Burning Crusade though. I'm not gonna worry about it here at the tail end of Vanilla. But definitely we'll want to have our Horde character for BC on, on Mancrick or another Central or Eastern United States uh, server. And then I think for Alliance characters, uh, Westfall is pretty good. I'm really digging uh, the ability to find groups for World Quest and just how many people are in the zone in general. Actually seeing people playing the game has been a good change. Because a lot of times recently we've been running around, especially on the Hunter, on the Horde side, and there's just no one around. Gets to feel pretty desolate. Let's see what this guy has in store for us here. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see. Uh, agility and spirit. No, and strength. Not really what we're looking for. See you around. Some weird gearing choices. Um, glorious indeed. Maltrek, it looks as if my plan worked perfectly, wouldn't you say, mortal? You would not even have helped the Legion of Blackrock had we just 
asked you for your assistance. What will we do with them, Master? They are no use to us anymore. Silence, fool. They will live if only to see the fruits of their labor, the destruction and chaos that will surely ensue as the Legion of Blackrock invade the gorge. I leave you now, mortals, alive and with these trinkets. Maltrake, present them with the trinkets. Oh yes, the molt, do not lose it. There are those of my kin in the burning steps that would craft items that only the molt of the Black Dragonflight could fortify. The Legion of Blackrock comes, Dwarflings. We shall scorch the earth and set fire to the heavens. None shall survive. Okay, so that guy was a dragon. Perfect. Can I, help you? I live only to serve the master. Yeah, we, we figured that out, man. Horde of the Black Dragonflight. The chest appears locked. Open the chest. Wait. Wait, if the chest appears locked, how did we just open the chest? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. There we go. The chest opens at your touch. How much cheese could possibly be in there? There's only one way to find out. Oh, and now we have to open the chest a third time. A dull gray patch of black dragon skin. And I guess that's it. I need to sell all these. Oh, <laughs> we did some uh, tailoring, you can see. All right, guys. Well, that seems to be the end of this little chain here. Uh, yeah, we'll have to figure out what the molt is for. If you guys know, I I'd be happy to find out from you guys. Otherwise, it means an internet search, so I'd rather hear it from you. Uh, yeah, let me know what the molt is for. And yeah, this has been a good time. I guess now we need to head back over and we need to finish off these geologists. And maybe then we'll be done in the zone. The outhouse key is the only other thing we don't have, so yeah, we'll have to look into that.